Hi everyone, today we're looking at the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. This is a new small UAS from DJI aimed at emergency response and industrial inspection applications. In this video we'll look at the Mavic and explore some of what makes this an exciting and useful tool. This video won't be going through every setting and combination. The idea is to provide you with a good overview of the unit and some of the applications that it can be put towards. We'll also discuss where the unit sits in the overall DJI lineup and what sort of customer it is marketed towards. At this stage, let's get the most obvious thing about the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual out there. This is not a hobbyist or recreational drone. It's not intended to give you the highest quality, resolution or detailed pictures and video available. If regular photography or videography is your thing, then DJI can help you with the Mavic 2 Zoom and Pro models. Now with that said, let's get started. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is a small UAS based on the Mavic 2 airframe. What differentiates the Enterprise Dual version from its cousins is the integrated dual thermal and RGB camera payload and the expansion connector on top, which can accept a range of accessory devices. I'll add a link to the DJI spec sheet in the description so you can read all the technical detail at your leisure. Firstly, as a UAS, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual flies and handles just like any other Mavic. It's very portable, quick to set up, lightweight and agile. You can take off, get in position and get the job done quickly. As with the other Mavic 2 models, there are obstacle avoidance sensors all over the aircraft as well as an ADS-B transponder receiver on board that can warn you of approaching aircraft and give you plenty of time to get out of the way and land safely before there's a problem. One of the great things about the dual imaging system is that the two cameras work side by side together. Gimbal movements and recording is simultaneous, making using the system and switching between thermal and RGB display very easy. When you record a video or take a picture, you'll see that both an RGB and thermal file are created. The first thing that will strike you about the thermal image is that the resolution is fairly low. The thermal imager unit used in the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is apparently similar to that used in the Fleur 1 smartphone dongle, so it's a matter of packaging a lightweight and low-cost thermal device alongside the RGB camera into a package that can integrate with the Mavic airframe. The raw thermal image can be improved by layering some of the RGB data over the top in what is called MSX mode. This takes some of the higher contrast elements of the visible image and applies it to the thermal image to provide more detail and clarity. The usual FLIR features of selectable palettes, isotherms, spot and area temperature measurements are all there and easily found in the DJI Pilot app's camera menus. Alongside the thermal imager and RGB camera, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is packaged with three swappable accessory devices, a night strobe, a searchlight unit, and a loudspeaker. These devices are perfectly suitable to search and rescue applications, especially in nighttime operations. However, only one of these accessories can be fitted at a time. Night flight operations can require specific approvals and permissions in some countries, so check with your local aviation regulator on that. The searchlight unit is very bright, with two large LEDs set in large reflectors. The loudspeaker unit has selectable volume from the DJI Pilot app and is quite easily heard over the prop noise of the Mavic 2 Enterprise. The strobe is visible from quite a distance, especially at night. Again, refer to the DJI spec sheet linked in the comments for more details. So this is not the first thermal flight solution from DJI. The XT and XT2 dual range of thermal cameras for the Inspire 1 and Matrice platforms have been around for a while now. These are much higher resolution payloads but are of course significantly more expensive. They are also only supported on heavier airframes which in some countries require certification and licensing for commercial applications. 
So you have just unboxed your shiny new Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. What do you do with it? In my short time evaluating the unit, I've conducted a number of roof and solar photovoltaic array inspections, set up some mock search and rescue scenarios, and observed some heavy plant and equipment in operation. The use cases for combined aerial, thermal and RGB imaging are of course much wider than that. This UAS would make an excellent addition to first responders, building inspectors and engineers. Here are a few examples of roof and solar array inspections performed with a Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. The MSX feature is really valuable here in getting as much detail into the image as possible. There's certainly enough detail here to identify and locate faults and issues. The simultaneous recording of RGB and thermal imagery also adds value here in that you get both datasets from a single flight. In this example, a flight was undertaken just before official sunset on quite a warm evening. It's midsummer here in Australia. Ambient temperatures were in the high 20s centigrade and the sunlight had just passed from the treetops. The two subjects and a dog entered a treed and brushy area along the local creek and were soon lost from view. After a few minutes, we took off with the Mavic and searched for the subjects at an altitude of approximately 40 metres. This altitude was chosen to keep the Mavic both in line of sight for the whole flight and well above the tree line for safety. Even with a relatively low resolution available and at high altitude, the subjects were located quickly and could be tracked as they walked along the creek. Were this a real search and rescue activity, a message could have been relayed to the subjects via the loudspeaker attachment and searches directed to the specific location as displayed in real time on the DJI Pilot app. It's definitely possible to mount a third-party thermal imager with its own power supply and transmitter onto a regular Mavic or Phantom UAS and get a similar outcome. However, the unique point of this product is that it's a fully integrated dual-view solution that provides an easily accessible thermal and RGB capture capability. The highly portable nature of the Mavic platform means that setup time is minimal and flight operations can commence very quickly. While not providing the image resolution of DJI's other thermal solutions, the Mavic operator can be airborne and in position working while the Inspire operator is still getting their UAS set up and ready to fly. So let's wrap it up. For industrial, engineering and first responder applications, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is a very capable and versatile UAS. Its features and ease of use make it particularly useful for organisations performing residential and commercial infrastructure inspection activities. Large scale search and rescue application may better be served by higher resolution thermal sensors, but the Mavic definitely has a role in supporting this type of work. I want to say again that this UAS is not a general purpose hobbyist or recreational device, but for those people with the requirement for quick and agile thermal and RGB imaging, it's a game changer. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you found it informative. 